July. It's 4th of July. It is really, really hot. I'm actually about to go in the pool right now, but I wanted to show you guys. So, opened up the weather channel on my phone. I got this like heat advisory um, from <laughs> in effect, but the temperature outside right now is 93. It feels like 108. So that's super. So it's important to keep your chickens really cool when temperatures get this high. If you live somewhere where it gets hot, or even if you live like up north and it just gets a little bit warmer in the summer, your chickens aren't used to that. Their body temperature is typically like between like 105 and 107. Um, and they do better in colder temperatures than they do in warmer temperatures. Um, you know, the reason for that is, I mean, they have the feathers and all that jazz. And like I said, their, temp their body temperature is naturally just a little bit higher. Um, still waiting on this pen for my chocolates. Um, a bunch of them are broody and like up in there, but don't knock me for <laughs> having these guys in this little thing. They are moving out of there soon. Um, but, um, so I have some treats in the freezer that we are going to give them later. Um, obviously some of the most important things um, are shade and water, some of the obvious ones, but I have a couple little tricks and treats that I give these guys just to keep them a little bit cooler. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I took their 4th of July pictures already um, of a couple of them right here. You can see them. They're cute. Super cute. <laughs> but um, so yeah. That's what we're doing. So I'm gonna go in the pool because it's really hot and the uh, I have some treats and stuff in the freezer. So I'll show you what I did for these guys in a little bit and we'll see how they like them. Okie doke. So like I previously mentioned, I'd say the number one like most important thing to keep your chickens cool is going to be shade. In my runs, most of them have, um, we have this like temporary thing, but it's still shade, shelter, all that good stuff but it's completely shaded. Obviously the sun still kind of shines in there, but these guys can maneuver to find shade. Number two is water. Water is super essential. Everybody needs water at all times, especially when it's really hot. Um, I'm going to refill this bad boy. It's all dirty with like sand and stuff. Um, I always, always, always change and clean them once a day, sometimes twice a day. And I like to add ice cubes too. It's a uh, really nice thing to help cool them off. So I'll show you what I do. Take some ice cubes and I add them. And sometimes I will add some, any type of frozen veggie that I have. Right now the only thing I have is edamame, um, but they love peas. I'm completely out of frozen peas. I totally thought I had them. But any type of frozen veggies that you can add, it just helps to cool them off, gives them some nutrition and they love it. All right, y'all, so the next thing are treats. Like really nice hydrating and cooling treats. So think like watermelon, um, chilled, obviously. I have a bunch that I'm about to give them. Um, frozen uh, fruits and veggies. Anything you can pull out that is going to hydrate them and keep them cool, really essentially. I mean, it's kind of like a popsicle is to us. So chickens can't really eat popsicles or ice cream and things like that, but they can eat like frozen stuff. So what I did is I made these. Um, I took obviously like a little like muffin pan type thing, um, added some water and then I took some canned corn and put them in there, froze them and took them out and they look like this. I'm just letting them thaw out a little bit so that I could pop them out and feed them to them individually. Chickens love corn. All right, so next up for the chicken, we have watermelon. Um, accidentally got yellow watermelon. I cut it up and then I popped it in the freezer for about a half hour just to give it kind of some extra chill. So the next thing is going to be ventilation in your coop. Um, you will have hens that hang out in the coop when they're broody, when they're laying eggs. I have two fans to pump um, hot air out. And I also have two windows as well. All right guys, and your last thing that you can do to keep your chickens cool is hose them off. I've dragged a, uh, a hose out here before and just kind of like, you know, went and 
kind of just like sprayed everyone down the entire run, walked back and forth, up and down. And then if you ever have a chicken who is like showing signs of like, um, you know, like heat stroke, um, heat, uh, God, what is it? Heat exhaustion. Um, you can take that individual uh, chicken and soak them in cold water. Um, you could take them, like not like ice cubes or anything, but just like regular like hose, will, like fill up a bucket with like some hose water and hang out with them and just get their like feet and their like, um, you know, their like lower body and let them soak. I'll show you right now what I do. I don't have anybody who obviously is like really, really hot, but like you'll know it, you'll recognize the signs. Hopefully if you have just a chicken, um, you know, usually wings kind of like just outstretched, droopy, they're lethargic, they may be sitting there, they'll be like panting. Um, if it's like, if it's like really bad, they might be laying on their side, not moving. Um, it's, it's a thing, it happens to chickens. So if you ever like catch that and you see a chicken that just looks really, really, really hot, I mean, don't, you don't have to be like really anal about it or anything, but if you see a chicken that looks really hot, you could take them and just dunk them like I'm about to show you. All right, well, I'm gonna show you with Kit Kat. I just, she was available to grab. She clearly is not like, Having heat exhaustion, I actually took her away from the watermelon. She was a little bit upset, but we're going to, I'm going to show you kind of just like how you would soak a, uh, a hot chicken. All right, guys. So I'm using this bowl just because it's what I had available because I had the ice in it. So what I would do is I would just kind of hold her like this, you know, the mid body and just literally cool her off. She's upset about it. So I'm going to let her out, but that's what I would do. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, don't forget to keep your little chicken friends cool this summer because it's really hot outside. So keep everybody cool. It's important. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.